Welcome to the 8th MATLAB Arduino tutorial. This video will cover how to read and visualize real-time distance data from a Ping ultrasonic rangefinder. The distance measuring sensor we will be using is the Parallax Ping, a low-cost dual transducer ultrasonic rangefinder. Here's the pinout. Connect VDD and VSS to the plus 5 volt and ground pins of the Arduino and the signal to pin D7. This ultrasonic sensor communicates using positive TTL pulses, outputting the total time that the ultrasonic bursts leave one transducer, reach a reflective object, and the returning echo is picked up by the other transducer. Compared to a single transducer rangefinder, the dual transducer ping ultrasonic rangefinder features a much smaller minimum distance of 2 cm, finer resolution of 2 to 3 cm, and a maximum distance of 3 meters, half of the sensor range shown in tutorial 7. As shown by the beam pattern, the ping sensor cannot accurately measure distance to an object that has its reflective surface at a shallow angle so that the sound will not be reflected back towards the sensor, where the object is too small to reflect enough sound back to the sensor. Let's look at how to interface this sensor with the Arduino. First, define the digital pin constant that is connected to the output of the sensor, as well as the variables mode, distance, and duration. The setup serial communication code remains unchanged from the first tutorial. In the main loop, we use this code to return distance values when requested by MATLAB. Read the serial data into the variable mode and implement a switch for case P. Get ping duration is a function that takes the pin number connected to the sensor signal pin and returns the time reading. Pass the echo duration to the function microseconds to centimeters, which returns the distance to send over the serial port to the computer. After the loop, define the function get ping duration to first send out a pulse request to the sensor. Set the signal pin as an output, set it low for 2 microseconds, before pulsing high for 5 microseconds, then returning low to trigger the ping. Next, switch the sensor to an input and count time the pin is high. This is the amount of time it took for the ultrasonic burst to reach the reflective object and the returning ECNO to reach the receiving transducer. The next function, microseconds to centimeters, converts this time to centimeters by multiplying by the speed of sound and dividing by two. Last, upload the sketch to the Arduino. After programming the Arduino, let's look at how to read and visualize the real-time data in MATLAB. We'll need the setup serial function created in the first tutorial, the close serial function created in the second tutorial, and a modified version of the read ACC function shown here called read dist. The inputs are S, the serial communication structure created by setup serial, and mode, a variable that matches the character of the appropriate case in the Arduino switch statement. Send the character in mode to the serial port, then read the value returned in the correct format. Here's an overview of how to make 3D graphics visualizations in MATLAB using HG transforms. First, create an axis and adjust the view for 3D. Second, create surface objects to form different shapes. Third, create the HG transform graphics object by combining or parenting the surface objects. Fourth, draw the objects in the axes, and fifth, manipulate the position, rotation, and scaling of the graphics object using sensor data. Put this all together in the animation 3D.m script to read distance data and animate a visualization. In the first cell, enter the COM port that the Arduino is mounted to, and subsequently run setup serial. The third cell creates a figure Add start stop plotting buttons, a close serial button, and a slider for modifying a filter parameter. Next, the fourth cell creates the graphics object used in the visualization. Create an axis and adjust the view using these functions, setting axis limits and preventing auto scaling. Use the cylinder and sphere functions to generate X, Y, and Z matrices for the respective shapes. 
Then plot different orientations of these 3D shapes and assign all surface object handles to the vector S. Last, create an HG transform object with the parent property containing the axis handle created above, and set the parent property of the surface objects to the combined HG transform object. The term parent property is a relationship between objects, allowing the surface objects we created to be grouped together so that HG transform operations can be performed on the combined object. Finally, in the last cell we will animate the graphics object with real-time sensor data. Since we are using the ping distance sensor, set the variable mode to equal the character P. Create a while loop to repeatedly get distance readings until the stop button is pressed and changes the user data property. A low pass filter discussed in tutorial 4 may be applied to smooth the raw data. The make HGT form function creates transformation matrices for translation, scaling, and rotation of graphics objects. Here, I translate about the y-axis and proportionally scale using distance measurements. Manipulate the HG transform combined object by setting the matrix property with the product of the translation and scaling transformation matrices. Running the script, here's the output. As I move the reflective object closer to the distance sensor, the graphics object gets larger and moves closer to the y-axis. I am using a folder as it is large and flat enough to accurately reflect sound waves back to the receiver. As I move the reflective object away from the sensor, the graphics object reduces size and moves away from the y-axis. Note how the minimum distance of the ping rangefinder allows the object to be measured in such close proximity to the sensor with good resolution. Decreasing the filter coefficient greatly minimizes the noise, effectively eliminating any jitter displayed by the graphics object when the reflective object is held at a constant distance from the sensor. Movement animations are also smoother, though at the cost of additional lag with heavy filtering. The effect of translation can easily be seen from the side view. Looking at the graphics object head on shows the effects of scaling. Thank you for watching. Please visit matlabarduino.org for more videos.